Hey y'all, it's Zach, the legal tech advisor here at Lawyerth. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about running reports in your law practice management system. Specifically, about getting unsiloed comprehensive reports from something like the business intelligence tool from Rocket Matter. Recently, I sat down with Sandy from Rocket Matter and she gave me an in-depth tour of the business intelligence tool. Have a listen and see what you think. We've got some data sets and, and, and I just want to actually take a moment and show you what this looks like a blank slate. If I were to open up a, you know, create one from scratch, you've right. got different data sets. We've got, we can build an activities report, a report based on contacts and clients report based on invoices, matter rates matters. Okay. And if I expand that feature, you're going to see different fields that you can use activity description, amount, billable units, and you can just drag it in there. Now that I showed you how it looks, you know, from a blank slate, I want to show you the one that um, that it comes pre-populated with, the billable activity by user. What we have here are filters. It's going to filter uh, whatever we put in this section, it's going to filter by that. So for example, billing date, we're filtering for this year. Invoice status, yes. So right now, We've got the same filters that I did in um, in the report we did earlier. So the billing mm -hmm. dates this year, and we only want to see things that were invoiced. Now we have grouping. Let me show you how grouping works. If I remove these groups and just leave the filter in the columns and run this report, it's going to look just like, you know, similar to the report that we had just run that's um, standard with Rocket Matter, right? Mm -hmm. You've got your columns, it's Excel, you've got that information. So let me show you what grouping does, All right? Let's go ahead and group by primary attorney. What's gonna happen now? I'm gonna click run report. And now instead of populating it, um, you know, just all of the data, I've got some grouping. Can you see that? I know it's a little bit in the bottom, but can you see? I can. We, we've got Keith Michael Stern there and Sam A. Hill. And right. just a standard view more. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on Keith Michael Stern. And now it's going to take me to all of um, the activity associated to the matters that um, Keith Michael Stern is the primary attorney to. So you might see here that there's different billing users. So mm -hmm. maybe perhaps, okay, you know, maybe I want it, I want it to be a little bit more on point. I'm going to go ahead and filter it by actual billing user. Okay, run report. All right, so now we've got all of our billing users here. So now all of this is going to be for Keith. But you know what? I actually, I see that there's three activities here for one client. Perhaps it would be more, um, it, it would make more sense or look more clear if we group it first by billing user, then by client name. Mm -hmm. There's Keith and there's Rosie. But what you see here are aggregate amounts. This, if I, that's because over here, you, we've, um, we've indicated as such. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna remove this one from here. If I do none, all right, we're gonna have nothing here. But I'm able to, from a high level, see an aggregate amount without even having to click in. So I'm gonna right. click sum, sum, all right? So here's uh, for our billing user, Gabriella. All right, we bill 210, we've collected 100, we filled 5700, we've collected 5229. And if I wanted to drill in, all right, I can see between the two clients, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I can drill in even further and it'll actually show me the activity. So right. just every law firm has completely different um, operations and administrations. This allows the firm to take something that's very simple, the billable activity by user report, every single cloud management software should have this report, but, but, they're, but we're giving them the, the ability to make it completely their own. Now, this is right. something that I would consider 
pretty typical and standard of the business intelligence tool. So that's just a little bit of what the business intelligence tool can do. I hope you learned something. I hope this was helpful. And I will see you next time around the Lawyer's ecosystem.